good coaches uh, at every level use the small area games. There's a lot of situations where you're battling in the corner and you need to be able to make those quick passes or a quick communication. So I think um, it's important to have small area games in practice. We need more offense in the game, so we, we definitely focus on scoring quite a bit uh, with our team and we do a lot of small area games. The game now is quicker and it's condensed, you know, in battles in the corner in front of the net. It's very important to be able to uh, be efficient at that and know how to score too. You have to be able to to make plays in pretty small areas, and uh, the more you practice that, I think the better off you are. Yay, we're gonna be it's a tremendous tool for for all coaches at all levels. When we talk about little children, what type of things are they exposed to? There's usually some scaling process. So for example, going to school, the furniture is small because the children are small. If you look outside at the bike rack, the bikes are all small because that's who's riding to school. They're not adults. Exactly the same when it comes to sports. Smaller implements, smaller playing surface, lighter equipment, um, lots of time doing things because there's going to be lots of experimentation. They're learning to do something and it's only when they start to put things together that they actually start to reach success. Children definitely want to get better. They definitely want to challenge themselves, but it's how do you really capture them so they want to keep trying? It's a, a challenging yet fun environment. You get poked out and then you go get it and do three jumps and come back. The scaling down aspect is vital in that process. It, the research clearly shows, and every parent should be looking for this, that their children are more actively engaged, which means that they, they have the puck with them um, a greater number of times. They have the puck on their stick for a longer period of time. They're interacting with the other players to a greater extent. They're making, having to make more decisions. They're having to control their bodily motion. In other words, all those facets of sk skating are so important. So the whole milieu of key performance indicators is raised. Maybe we should call this the flower skate. Right? I like it as a spider skate. Come on back, come on back, go back around. Go Jacob, go Jacob. The thing is, is you gotta get down to their level, have some fun with them, be willing to be a little bit silly, come up with some creative names, the dinosaur chase, the spider game, Superman slides, Supergirl slides, those are all terrific uh, ways to engage the kids, keep them entertained and keep them active for a good hour. So really age appropriateness comes back to making sure that we're, we're building the basics, we give to children time and the amount of contact time on task, if you like, to make sure they have a chance of getting better. Whether it's the coach or, or the parent in the stands, but really the, the most important thing is that everyone needs to remember uh, why they're there, and that's to be part of participation, having some fun, being active, being healthy, and, uh, and hopefully they're, they're at the rink, but they're also outside doing other activities and, and other sports as well.